Now, what I want to do from here is I want to go into the existing theory about how all of this works. And there is something that I call the discovery statement, which I have written right over here, okay? The cause of all negative emotions is a disruption in the body's energy system. Um, some of you now buy that because you've had a lot of experience with this, okay? <laughs> but let me tell you, when I was saying this years ago, I would say that and there would be this quiet all over the audience, you know. Let me give you a little example if I can. Let's say, let's say I go to the top of the Empire State Building, okay? Now, I, I do not have a height phobia, okay? And I've been on the top of the Empire State Building, and I go up there and I can look down. Look at all the little cars down there, okay? It's way down there. By the way, when I said that, anybody get a little queasing in their stomach? Anybody? Okay, yeah, a few of you, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, a little height phobia, maybe. But anyway, some people have such a response, negative response to being up high, a height, height phobia, that they would not even go up there. They would not entertain going up there. They would, get, they would get upset with the mere thought of going up there. And if they were to go up there, the more intense ones may well throw up, heart pound out of their chest, cry, do anything they can to get off the top of that building and down. Again, okay? And if that person was standing here next to me, and I don't happen to have this response, and they do, I'm going to ask you, why is it they have it and I don't? Somebody, in fact, I'm going to pick somebody out. Where, where's our record? I'm going to pick out this lady right here, okay? And, and whatever answer you have is the right answer, okay? <laughs> why is it one of us has it and one of us doesn't? Well, I would say because of some previous experience. For, for example, that, uh, this person had a trauma, uh, some kind of a trauma fell off of something or maybe something like that, and I have not, and therefore they have their problem and I don't? Right. Okay. All right. All right. Come, up, come over here. I want you to ask this lady. Okay. Do you have a fear of public speaking, by the way? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for asking. Yes. Um, I think that... I do believe that th there are energies that are internalized some, for some reason. They may be because of experience, they may be because of who knows what, but um, so I do believe that statement, so I'm not sure what I can add to okay, that. Okay, well you may not have believed it 10 years ago. Correct. Okay, and let me ask this question. 10 years ago, if I were to ask you this question, come, come, on, come on over here, come on over here and, <laughs> and ask Jane. Uh, 10 years ago, if I were to pose this to you, what would your response have been? Why is it I don't seem to have the response and this person does? Probably of a, a previous incident in someone's life. Yeah, typically the, typically the thought is you've had some kind of trauma here and, and therefore every time you come around a height circumstance, mm -hmm. you get a replay. Sort of. Okay, all right. Now. I really believe that one. And now you really believe this one. Okay. <laughs> well, let me go on with this for a moment because not everybody's in your place. All right, okay. thank you. Um, the, I, I'm going to simplify uh, psychology, if you will, or the, uh, or the explanation for this prior to these new findings. And it would look something like this. Well, somebody has this fear because they have the thought or the experience of fear here, or, or the height here. And so that causes, that thought, if you will, causes this emotional response. So the thought of the experience causes emotional response. So, if we're going to do something with it, so we don't have this emotional response, we've got to do something with the thought, because the thought causes it. I mean, that's the th and it seems almost very logical like that. You know, somebody has this thought, this experience, and that causes it, so we've got to do something with this thought. We have to somehow downplay this thought. We have to desensitize this thought. And a lot of very creative things come about with this thought, okay? And uh, the, the idea is, as long as they can change that thought somehow, then they're going to change the experience. All right? Varying degrees of success, not a lot of it though. Uh, nonetheless, the logic is pretty hard to ignore at least 10 years ago. Okay. What's going on here is, is we find something a little bit different. Yes, there is the thought, and yes, there is the emotion, but there's an intermediate step. And I, it's just a metaphor that I use, I call it the zzzz, okay? That is the thought 
causes your energy system to somehow disrupt. It causes the free flow of it to no longer flow freely. And it is that which you feel that is the emotion. Okay? So if we are going to effectively take care of this emotion, this height phobia that we don't want, and by the way, the same thing occurs to you know, some kind of a, a traumatic experience, guilt, grief, and et cetera, anger, or whatever. Uh, we can ignore the thought. What we do is we go directly to the energy system, and by tapping on it, which is what the EFT process does, by addressing it, balancing it while somebody's tuned into their thought, um, then the emotion doesn't happen, which is interesting. And we get a high, high degree of success doing that. So let me go back here and say, the, see I have underlined the word cause, the cause of all negative emotions. That, in, in, in my experience, is the cause. There, there is hardly any negative emotion that you can give me that, that I can't do something with by tapping on the energy system, far more effective than, than anything else. Now, there is one exception to that that I've found over time. There's another cause sometimes, and that is there are occasions where something that you eat, drink, wear, or are otherwise sensitive to that will literally cause the problem. Example, I have, in fact, there's even cases like this on our, our EFT course, our tapes. Uh, but somebody could eat something like sugar, for example, and sugar for that person literally causes the depression. Okay? You can tap all day long, you may get some temporary relief, it comes back, etc. But you get sugar out of that person's system and the depression lifts whether you tap or not. <laughs> okay? uh, there's a case like that on our course, uh, uh, Grace, near the end of it, young lady, major depression, major depression. When she finally got sugar out of her system, depression lifted. One day, somebody offered her some malt balls, little sugar candies. She ate them, and in her words, as on the tape, the depression just came flooding back. You know, she couldn't wait for the next morning to come when the sugar would be out of her system and so on, but it just came flooding back. Other cases where wheat will do it. Okay, somebody can eat wheat, be sensitive to wheat, and wheat literally causes the depression, for example. In my experience, I've seen depre both depression and panic attacks be literally caused by something you eat, wear, drink, something you're sensitive to. Okay. But outside of that, outside of that kind of cause, the cause of negative emotions is a destruction of that body's energy system in a moment. Um, I also want to point out one other thing here, and this is interesting because I usually get a little debate on this, the cause of all negative emotions is a disruption of the energy system. That's interesting because the same process we use is effective for any negative emotion you want to name, okay? I, I'd like to see somebody name me one that we can't address with this.